Me, I um, have been last week, actually seven days ago. So last Thursday, I had like a dental procedure done, like kind of in my jaw here. So I've been healing from that ever since, and I haven't been quite as active on here, but I've been, you know, watching and trying to respond to comments and all of that kind of thing. So if I haven't gotten to your comment, um, feel free to reach out to me to chat if you want to. Um, it's just that I've been like in pain and um, kind of swollen. You might be able to see that like my face is a little bit swollen. Um, it was it's called a cavitation. I don't know if you know what a cavitation is. Um, I didn't know what it was. Um, basically, if you've ever had a root canal or um, gotten your wisdom teeth out, um, it's very possible that you could have an infection at that site inside of your like jaw and gums inside. So basically it's an anaerobic infection and those are pretty dangerous, um, but people don't know. They don't know that they have any issues, right? But it's very, very, very common if you've had any teeth pulled, especially like wisdom teeth in the back or like a root canal put in because there's um, oftentimes there's like some dead tissue left in there um, and it dies and then over time it kind of becomes necrotic and infected. So anyway, um, just a you know, super quick PSA, if you've ever had um, wisdom teeth out or ever gotten a root canal, definitely find yourself a holistic dentist and get that thing x-rayed because um, if there's any sign of a cavitation or infection inside of your jaw or your gums, um, super important to get that cleaned out because it, anyway, there's a movie called Root Cause. Um, definitely look that up. It's on Rumble, I believe you can find it. Um, and it, I mean, these infections can cause so many problems from like heart disease to anxiety to cancer, which I'm not supposed to say out loud, but um, like a lot of things, right? And obviously it's related to the topic here at hand, parasites, because all of these infections and, um, you know, bad bacteria are classified as parasites. They're harming us, right? So pathogens, um, all of these things. So anyway, that's where I've been the past week. And I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm just, I've just been recovering and it's, it's been kind of a lot. They actually opened up my gum in, from inside. She cut it open <laughs> and um, cleaned it out. Basically, it was eating away at my jaw in there underneath where I had got my wisdom tooth pulled. And it's brutal. It's brutal. It's um, very inflamed and it hurts. And um, I'm not really taking any pet pain meds for it. Not because I'm crazy, but because the pain is, hasn't been honestly that terrible. Um, it's just kind of an aching feeling. And I just think that like pain meds aren't really worth it. So I have a lot of natural options I've been using like curcumin and um, like I had this relief um, thing that works pretty well as far as like natural. So I've just been using a lot of herbs and stuff to help, you know, bring down inflammation and pain. Clove, clove is good for like tooth pain and that kind of thing. But I've been recovering for about seven days. So that's where I've been. Um, anyway, today I wanted to kind of talk about, I wanted to talk about this whole like diet culture and weight loss um, culture that we have in our society. Because I think that um, honestly, like the way I've always looked at it is that if you have some issues externally, like including like skin problems or like you look unhealthy in some way or you're overweight or even underweight, this is a symptom, not not an actual issue. You know what I mean? And so I, I'm always like looking for the root cause of the problems that we have. And I've just found that a lot of times when people are overweight, it's not like... It is like excess fat storage, but a lot of times it's inflammation. Like a lot of it is inflammation. And when you start to heal and balance and detox, if you can flush out some of that inflammation, that automatically starts to flush some of that weight off because it's not, a lot of it isn't actually fat. It's like toxic inflammation and um, like water weight and that kind of thing. So balancing the body and healing is always like something that is desirable over just trying to lose weight or whatever, right? Because we think of like, okay, I'm gonna lose weight so I can get healthy, but let's actually flip it on its head and say, I'm gonna get healthy 
so I can lose weight, right? Like that's how it actually works, right? Like if you wanna, if you wanna lose weight or gain weight or whatever, or balance your body or fix your skin or whatever, you gotta look on the inside, right? Like that's where it starts. So um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit today. Um, so this, you know, I I work with a few companies as far as like root cause healing protocols, and I talk about them in regards to my parasite cleanses and that kind of thing. So one of these companies just came out with this really interesting product that I've been looking at and they call it a thermogenic. And so it's kind of marketed to weight loss and I'm kind of like always rolling my eyes with weight loss stuff. I'm like, okay, that's not really the focus, but I kind of like the way that they approach it because they're using just herbs. There's no like caffeine or anything like that. And then I was looking, I was actually doing a deep dive into the ingredients of these herbs. And I was like really excited about it because, well, let me tell you a quick story. Um, I have a friend who's actually on here, um, Jenna Sennett, if you want to go follow her. Um, she um, talks about healing a lot and root cause healing. She's had Lyme and co-infections, um, basically some autoimmunity stuff, it's really hard stuff to kick, like a lot of inflammation. She had a lot of weight gain. Um, she had started having kids after she was told that she would never be able to have kids, um, but she still wasn't like healing. She was very inflamed and just had a lot of weight to lose and that kind of thing. So she started healing using the step one and the step three parts of the protocol. And she had already been doing parasite cleanses with like naturopaths and that kind of thing tinctures, herbs, all of that kind of stuff. But this just took her to the next level, right? So now she's doing all of these things, like all three of the steps. And this was before I had developed the three steps or anything, but she was kind of doing it on her own. Um, and so she's been doing this for a long time. She's lost like 82 pounds. Now she's pregnant again with her third child. And she um, basically just started taking this new thermogenic that I mentioned um, that has herbs no caffeine, it's totally safe, all of that she checked to make sure it's not like contraindicated for like pregnancy or anything else. And she's not trying to lose weight. She just noticed it had some benefits for like blood sugar regulation and that kind of thing. And she's been healing a lot. So she started taking it. Guess what happened? She's been doing, I like I said, she's been doing parasite cleanses for years, like several years, right? With herbs and all this stuff. She's pregnant, not trying to do a parasite cleanse, not trying to do a detox because she's pregnant. She's not trying to do any of that right now, right? But she started passing like very large worms, like stuff that she's never seen before, um, just out of nowhere, like immediately, as soon as she started taking it. So basically what it has in it, and I'll talk about the ingredients a little bit, but it's got this spice that I had never taken before. And I've taken a lot of herbs, so it's like surprising to me when I see something I've never taken before. Um, it's called um, Grains of Paradise. Okay, I think I've heard of it maybe, but like I've never taken it, right? So I started looking into the benefits of this Grains of Paradise, right? Like this herb, it's actually a spice that people use in certain areas of the world in their cooking, okay? So it's basically like a digestive aid and it helps also, like it helps with blood sugar levels and it helps you to break down fat as you digest, right? So it's a spice, like it's basically like a peppery spice, right? Okay, so they put it in this like burn thermogenic thing because it helps to um, break down brown fat in your body so that it doesn't become white fat. White fat's the dangerous like visceral, like around your belly, that kind of fat. Um, so as we age, obviously, we want to optimize these processes, right? And so um, I'm just always interested to see because this company continually comes out with like innovative things that are completely natural and clean. And I just love the way they think. So um, so anyway, this, this thermogenic it has grains of paradise, carrot pumice, and glomerata fruit, among a couple of other things. But I wanted to go through the... Um, let me see the um, ingredients just a little bit because we I was doing like a deep dive and I kind of wanted to see, well, actually Jenna maybe could get on with me because she found some of this. But um, let's see, she sent me some stuff she was um, researching and I saved it. So I wanted to read some of the things that these ingredients do. So basically, for grains of paradise, let me see where it is. 
Yeah, grains of paradise. So basically it's like, it says it's similar like in the family of like ginger and turmeric, right? So it's kind of like a spicy, I don't know. It's it's like a seed, I think. It's, it's very strange. Um, I haven't ever seen it before. I think it's like a tropical like fruit thing. Okay, so it has little or no side effects in adults. Um, children who consume gra grains of paradise may experience irritation of the stomach, intestine, because it's spicy, right? Like, so I felt that. Like, when I first started taking it, I kind of felt spicy, right? Like, here, going down. Um, and now, what I do is I've been taking it, like, right in the middle of a meal, because people cook with it, right? So, it's supposed to be incorporated in your food. So, I'll take, like, one or two bites, and then I'll take this, you know, either one or two of these, um, with the meal so that it's incorporated with the food and that's kind of cut down on any kind of like spicy feelings I have in my esophagus um so but I can really feel it working like it gets warm in your kind of solar plexus here um and definitely it's got so many it says it's an aphrodisiac too so it's got like some hormone modulating effects and um just kind of like revs up your metabolism right and kind of helps you burn all of these things um, like the brown fat or whatever. So um, let's see what else it says. So it basically um, kind of torches the, the brown fat and prevents it, like it makes us burn it for energy instead of turning it into white fat. So it kind of prevents fat storage basically, okay? I've only been taking it for about 10 days, but I've been very impressed with like what I've been feeling and like noticing. So white adipose tissue tends to be stored on the weight, uh, waist and thighs. So it basically prevents fat storage on the weight, on the waist, tummy area, that spare tire and the thighs, right? Um, let's see. Brown adipose tissue, which is the brown fat, is smaller. The diminished diameter of brown adipose tissue means it can only store small amounts of lipids. This is the kind of body tissue that functions primarily to insulate the body and keep us warm. For this reason, in cold weather, brown adipose tissue tends to become depleted, and this leads to shivering. Babies do not generally shiver because they have far, far more brown adipose tissue than adults. That's the other thing. Kids have more brown fat than white fat, which explains why kids are less likely to get overweight, right? Because the brown fat is more like a furnace inside of us, and it's like burning off as we exercise and run around and you know it's just just like they have like a really optimized metabolism kids do right the younger we are the more optimized our metabolism so I just love how this kind of like pushes us back in time to where we can optimize these things even as we age right let's see clinical trials have shown that grains of paradise extract and reduce white adipose tissue at the cellular level this is to say that grains of paradise actually cut down the number of cells in white adipose tissue. Okay, so that's all very interesting. It talks about weight loss. It says it can give you a quick pick, pick me up similar to caffeine, but it's not a stimulant. So it's not caffeine, it's not a stimulant, but it can make you feel more energetic, okay? Um, it also, this stimulant effect also helps burn calories and give you energy for your workout. So that's interesting because it, has like an energy producing effect, but it's not a stimulant at all. Uh, let's see, what else? Anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidants, binds with free radicals in the body to help prevent cancer and reduce inflammation that leads to other degenerative conditions. Um, and I think this leads back to being anti-parasitic because as you know, I think parasites cause all of our problems. So if we have free radicals in our body, if we have, um, any kind of pathogens in our body, then something that is anti-parasitic is going to start cutting down on all of those problems, right? So it's very interesting um, because it can prevent degenerative conditions. It can prevent like autoimmunity, all of this stuff. The other thing that this thing does, which is really impressive, is it seals leaks in the gut. So all of these things are so healing and like root cause to the issues that we have because it's, it's known that leaky gut is a precursor to autoimmune conditions, to food allergies, to all kinds of allergies, actually. Um, so it's just very interesting that once you start to heal the root, all of these other things start to naturally resolve, including weight, because that's just a symptom, right? Like it's just a symptom of a problem that we have, right? 
Um, okay, you missed the beginning. Um, I'm talking about like I'm talking about this new herbal product that I I just started trying. It's called um, it's a thermogenic, but it's basically just a an herbal thermogenic. So I was kind of going through some of the ingredients of it and like what the benefits are. And I was talking about weight loss in the context of healing, right? I'm not, I'm not about weight loss at all. Like I don't ever want to talk about like just weight loss for, for weight loss's sake or for looking better or getting healthy or whatever. I want to like turn that on its head and make us talk about healing, right? Because healing leads to balance in the body and balance in the body leads to like a balanced, sustainable body weight right? Whatever that looks like for the person. So, um, so I'm always all about healing from the root instead of like just trying to lose weight, right? Like I want to, I want to heal first because that's the most, the most interesting thing. Yes, dude, parasites can eat holes in the gut. Yes. This is totally like what I think is happening a lot of the time. I don't think they're the only thing that can make holes in the gut because I know like GMOs and like certain foods can kind of eat away at the gut lining too. But oh my gosh, because they, like, I've even seen evidence, like, I think it was roundworms burrow out of the gut and, like, get into your bloodstream and then make their way up into your lungs. And then they get coughed out. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's disgusting. I hope you're not eating. But, like, yeah. Like, so if they're burrowing out of our guts, they're poking holes in it. Okay? And so this is my understanding of how autoimmunity starts. Because here's the thing. If you have any food allergy, and especially if you're if you've got growing food allergies, like you used to be allergic to strawberries, but now you're allergic to like 500 things, or like the foods that you are eating and reacting to become more and more over time, this means you have leaky gut. That's like the hallmark symptom of leaky gut because if you like, so this is how it works. If there's holes in your gut, it's called gut permeability. Leaky gut's kind of like a layman's term for that, but if your gut has holes in it, like the lining of your gut then like particulates can get into your bloodstream that aren't supposed to be there. So like it could be food. It could be anything. Like probably the thing that you love the most and eat most often is probably what you're going to become allergic to because it's getting into your bloodstream. Your body is attacking it as a pathogen. It does. It's like you're not supposed to be here. So it like tags it and red flags it as a pathogen. And then next time you eat it, you start reacting. Okay. That's like how food allergies work. And then also like toxins in your gut, which our guts are supposed to protect us from pathogens and, you know, like food poisoning and that kind of thing. If the gut has permeability, then those toxins can leak into our bloodstream and the gut can't protect us us from it. So it can cause like leaky gut is so underdiagnosed, like almost everybody has it. A lot of people in America have it. Um, and it's so, it's so huge. It causes so many problems, autoimmunity, food allergies, like life threatening stuff guys, and like chronic stuff. So there is a root to all of these things. There's healing for all of these things. Okay. If you have a chronic condition, if you have an autoimmune condition, you might go to the doctor. They, first of all, probably can't even figure out what it is, right? They're running all these tests and they're like, oh, maybe you have this, maybe you have that. They, they may call it different names. Somebody may say you have fibro, some may say you have Lyme, some may say you have lupus or whatever. Like this is like stuff that like doctors are just not like on like very understanding or knowledgeable about. And you may run to five or six different doctors before you get any kind of diagnosis at all. It's a very common story. I've just heard it so many times from so many people, right? They can move through your body like nothing. You're not crazy when you can feel movement. Yes, if you feel like you have parasites, if you know in your mind and in your body that you have parasites and you can feel them, I will 100% believe you. I believe that you have parasites and that you are feeling them. I 100% believe that. But don't go to the doctor saying that because they will call you crazy and try to give you an antipsychotic. Seriously, that's not what you need. You need to heal. You need to do parasite cleanses. So yeah, um, turpentine and gum spirits. I actually did a video on that. I think it's a good parasite cleanse. Definitely um, look into it. I did a video, look at my playlist. If you go to my profile, it's got step two. Um, and I think, I think turpentine's the first one. So just go to the, pro, the profile, scroll through the playlists, step two, and I think it's the first video. So look at that and we can chat if you wanna talk more about it. A lot of people use turpentine in conjunction with sugar to draw the parasites out and then they eat it and die so it's a really good antiparasitic i think it's nasty though like it's hard to swallow 
Um, let's see, Dr. Gundry. Yes. Um, all right. So back to grains of paradise. So I'm just going through this thermogenic that I like a lot that I've just started using. Um, then we were looking at it. It actually has analgesic properties too. So it brings down inflammation and pain. So I was like, Ooh, I need to load up on this when I got this, you know, jaw thing I was talking about. But, um, but then we get to where it, um, can get rid of, it says it, Grains of paradise can be used to treat a variety of gastrointestinal disorders. Historically, grains of paradise has been found effective in treating stomach pain, ulcers, diabetes, no, not diabetes, diarrhea, and worms. Mm Mm-hmm, worms. Okay, my friend who's pregnant took it and like immediately started passing huge worms. I was like, this is insane. Like she's not even trying to pass worms because she's pregnant, obviously, right? But like insane. Like she immediately started passing like huge worms like she'd never seen before. And she's done lots of parasite cleanses before. Also says it can heal wounds. Traditionally, the seeds are crushed and prepared in a brew that is used to heal wounds. Herbs, guys, like natural herbs have so many like hidden benefits, right? Like if we take pharmaceutical drugs, which I just see as like a counterfeit of herbs, like herbs are the real medicine, right? Like medicine in nature is the real medicine. And like doctors and scientists just look at stuff in nature and then they basically steal it and counterfeit it and create it, like mass produce it with petroleum, basically, you know, like petroleum, stuff and then they chemically alter it to make it into the med so they can sell it to us for cheap like they can they can make it for cheap and then they sell it to us but why wouldn't we just go back to the original natural thing and take that okay because there's so many like hidden benefits instead of hidden side effects right like we take meds and then 10 years later we realize it's killing people okay how about we take herbs and we get all of these crazy insane benefits instead right? Like, and that's where they got the idea in the first place, right? Yeah. Doctors will not treat parasites. They know they profit off of just treating the symptoms. I understand that completely. Yes. Because what I just explained, pharma is basically counterfeiting nature's medicine so they can sell it to us. And then meanwhile, we can like grow some of the stuff in our backyards, right? Like if they, if, if people all started creating their own medicine out of their backyards, pharma would go belly up, right? Like they don't want us to do that. They don't want us to actually heal, right? So anyway, I'm not trying to be all conspiracy theorists up in here. I'm just saying like the, the medicine that originally came from nature is where they got the idea in the first place. Okay. So let's just go there. Let's just do that. Right. Yeah, they can't copyright the natural version for profit, especially since we can literally grow a lot of it in like in our windowsill or like in a greenhouse or in our backyard, right? Like if we can grow it for free, why would we buy it from anybody? (laughs) That's why there's no research on it because there's no money to fund it. So anyway, I'm sorry. Let me take off my tinfoil hat for just a second, but I'm, but welcome if you want to share those theories and (laughs) things that the ideas that you have to. Okay. So grains of paradise, still on grains of paradise. So many things. It's basically peppery and spicy. It's known by a lot of different names. It's used as a culinary spice. So it's very safe. They use it in cooking. Um, it's a peppery citrusy flavor and it's a great addition to all kinds of cooking. Okay. Let's see what else. So this, is it still... I don't know if this is a different ingredient, but I think it is. Leucine. Okay, so leucine is another ingredient in this thermogenic that I'm talking about. Builds muscle, prevents muscle loss, improves performance, aids in fat loss, promotes muscle recovery, stabilizes blood sugar. That's important. I don't want this to take forever, so I'm just trying to run through these ingredients. So we've got two ingredients so far. We've got grains of paradise and leucine. Both of them help with blood sugar. Both of them help with um, metabolizing lipids or brown fat in our body to prevent it from being stored as white fat. Revs up our metabolism, and it's super safe, like, food ingredients, okay? Let's see what else. 
So that's leucine. Okay, so the glomerata, the glomerata fruit. I've never taken that either. Okay, so it works through complementary mechanisms to support metabolic wellness and a healthy body weight and composition. Restores sensitivity to leptin and, gosh, adiponectin, hormones that regulate satiety and appetite. Increases insulin sensitivity to help the body convert sugar into energy instead of storing it as fat. Okay, like who doesn't want that? I don't care if you don't need to lose weight. Who doesn't want your metabolism to be optimized? everybody, right? Like it's like basically turning back time to when you were a kid and your metabolism was better optimized, right? Um, maintains healthy cholesterol, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels. So again, this is not about weight loss. This is about healing. This is about balance, okay? There's clinical research, seven peer-reviewed studies, including four clinical trials involving 550 subjects. Um, safety and tox data support the safety and efficacy of glomerata. Talks more about the studies. I can send you guys this stuff if somebody's interested in looking at it. Um, the, the links to the studies or just like screenshots that I have. But it's very, very interesting. And I love the way they formulate this stuff because it's very clean and just like, it just works. Like it works so well, okay? Um, so the other thing is um, it's got carrot pomace. Carrot pomace. So that's basically, I think it's just basically the carrot fiber. Like when they take the juice out, like if you juice a carrot, what's left over is I believe what is the carrot pomace. Um, increases endurance and stimulates faster muscle recovery and repair, whether from strenuous workout or a sustained injury. Functions to lower high blood sugar, increase growth hormones in infants and children, especially and soothe an anxious nervous system. So all benefits that we would all love. Um, L-valine is another thing that's in here. Interesting. It's one of three branch chain amino acids. The others are leucine and isoleucine, which leucine is in here too. Enhance energy, increase endurance, and aid in muscle, muscle tissue recovery and repair. Love it. So it's building muscle, it's burning brown fat to prevent it to be stored as white fat. Um, so basically just making our bodies work like they did when they were younger, right? Like nothing wrong with that. Decreases muscle damage and soreness, reduces fatigue and boosts performance, lowers glucose. Let's see. Just joined any natural remedy for a two-year-old who is a type one diabetic. I heard blood sugar as I joined. Yeah, um, we can chat. Let's chat because type one diabetes is obviously, a, you know, a tricky subject. It's um, it's autoimmune. Um, it is it has a lot to. It's yeah. It's just it's complicated. So let's chat. Um, yeah, I have some ideas for you. So let's, let's discuss it. If you guys want, come over to my parasite cleansing group on Facebook. It's called the truth about parasites, colon, how we heal the truth about parasites, how we heal. Just search that and it should come right up. It's got a picture of like tree roots in the, um, in the banner of it or the picture of it. Um, just come over there because it's a lot easier to chat on Facebook than it is on this platform. So yeah, I wish they would make it easier to chat over here, but go join the group and we can chat more over there. Let's see what other ingredients we can look at. Isoleucine. Yeah, so that's most of them. It's got like five or six main um, active ingredients. Um, I saw, let's see, is there, any, is there anything else I can use to open pathways? Okay, so... The thing that I use to open the pathways is the reboot. It's the step one in my protocol. Um, that is literally $16 after my $10 coupon. So it's, it's not very expensive. Um, it's just the best thing I've found. I haven't found anything better than that to open detox pathways. It's literally the best thing that I've ever found. Um, and it's also the easiest, like simplest thing. And it only takes three days and it's just super effective. And I feel like the ingredients are just so 
like well sourced that they just work better than anything I've ever tried. So I definitely encourage you to try to do try to get the reboot if you can. Um, so I've got that ten dollar off referral code thing, and it's it's literally like sixteen ninety five. I think um, you have to pay shipping, but it's it's pretty cheap. Like if you try to do like piecemeal those ingredients on your own, they probably one wouldn't work as well, and two would probably be more expensive than that. So um, definitely look at the step one. Um, I don't, you know, I don't like recommend this stuff because it's expensive, but good stuff is expensive sometimes. That's just kind of the way it, it happens, you know, like grains of paradise doesn't grow here and you have to source it well or it's not going to work. You know, I've taken so many supplements and probiotics that just don't work. They don't do anything. So even if you're only paying $10 a bottle, it's a waste of money, right? Because it's not working, right? So anyway, that's, that's kind of like, I've just, I've researched this for so long that I want you guys to get results, okay? I want you to heal and I want you to get actual results. So, and I, I'm, I feel you, like I'm frugal, I'm frugal too. And I've, I've been a single mom and I was, I was in the Bay Area, California while I was a single mom. It's hard, it's hard. I get it, life is hard, the economy is bad, all of these things, but like, it's just not even worth doing it if you're not going to do it right. You know what I mean? Like if you're not going to get the results you want, then kind of what's the point? You know what I mean? So I that's why I emphasize so hard to do step one, step two, and step three to keep it sustainable. Because you can kill parasites all day, but they will grow right back if you don't keep it sustainable. If you don't do that step three and like replenish your body with good stuff and like change the entire ecosystem. It changes your pH. It changes the balance of all the good and bad microbes in your body. It, it strengthens your immune system. So you can fight off anything. You can fight off disease, viruses, viruses, um, food poisoning. You can fight off any kind of pathogen, the stronger your immune system is and your immune system in your gut. Okay, so you gotta strengthen your gut. You gotta strengthen your entire microbiome. And its connection with the brain is a whole other topic I can talk about sometime. But anyway, um, definitely, you know, come to the group. Um, I can help you, you know, kind of brainstorm what can work best for you. I totally understand if you've got like financial constraints. That's just the way life is sometimes. But maybe we can work out something that can work for you. Also, this company that has step one and three today, they have a 30% off sale, white site wide sale. So it's, it's worth like, you know, 30% off. That's a significant discount, right? So I see somebody wants to come live. Do you really want to come live? <laughs> no, probably not. So if you want to come live, you can, uh, you can request. So let me see if there's any other questions. Anybody else have questions? Um, I just want to talk about like real quick. Sure thing. Um, I just want to talk about real quick, like just the mindset around like losing weight because um, losing weight to get healthy is not the right way to think about it, right? Because a lot of times people will do anything to lose weight. I'm in Texas right now. I used to be in California, but um, we moved. Freedom refugees right here. Okay. Um, but um, but where are you guys located? Why not you guys uh, uh, drop that in the comments? I'm in Texas, central time zone. Um, so let me know where you're located. Um, yeah, but I just, you know, I'm all about balance. So the thing with some, uh, cool, Detroit, oh gosh, are you getting some of that pollution from the Ohio spill? I hope not. That's pretty devastating. And there's been a lot of stuff. Was there one in Detroit too? There was a fire in Chicago, I think today. This stuff is blowing my mind, all these different like spills and fires and stuff. All right. So anyway, I just, you know, I just um, definitely anything I talk about is not going to be like focused on like how you look or like from the outside in. It's always going to be from the inside out. OK. And I think parasites have a lot to do with that. I think they have a lot to do with making us sick and um, just giving us all these problems that we have. And I think there's a lot of things that doctors don't have answers for. And um, I think that we can find these answers. So Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I don't want this to go all day, but um, I might do a few of these clips and put them in TikTok so that um, they'll be saved and more people can see them. But um, definitely come over to my group, The Truth About Parasites, How We Heal on Facebook. Um, come on over and request to join. Just put a little note there, like why you're coming so I know who you are. I've gotten a few spammers in there. 
Um, but the group is growing really fast. And actually, once I get to a thousand followers, I'm going to give away the step one reboot. So, um, so that'll be fun. And I'm almost there. This is the reboot. Um, you can look at it in the, in the links. I have all of them outlined. So if you want to discuss any options or how, you know, just questions that you have, feel free to message me. I don't see messages quite as often on TikTok. It's just really hard to message on TikTok. So um, come over to the group and message me on Facebook if that's where I see messages first. Um, I'm not trying to make things complicated. Um, if you don't have Facebook um, in my link on my profile, you can also see that I have a Google Voice number, so you can text me there. Um, so we can definitely chat either way. Um, yeah, so love you guys. And yeah, um, okay, you're afraid of losing weight because you're thin already, yes. That is a common thing. Like some people like don't want to take certain things that I recommend because on the label, it'll say something like for weight loss or whatever. Okay, but no nothing I recommend is going to make you lose weight. I have seen people who are underweight gain weight on this stuff because it's about balance, okay? So this is really hard to explain to people because of what the label says sometimes, but like nothing I recommend is going to make anybody lose weight that doesn't need to lose weight, okay? And it's not gonna make anybody gain weight that's not supposed to gain weight. It's about balance, right? So um, that's everything that I recommend is like herbs and probiotics, um, really good targeted strains of probiotics to help with specific issues. Um, so if you have a question about any of that, just like hit me up at the Google voice number in my links or um, like on Facebook and Messenger or even on here in the Messenger thing that I almost never see. But um, but yeah, totally just like we can discuss it because um, I'll explain to you why I'm recommending what I'm recommending. And if you want to um, do an, an alternative thing, I can definitely give you recommendations for that. There are options, right? Like it doesn't always have to be, it doesn't have to be exactly what I put in step three. There are options. What I'm, my goal here is to replenish the good after you expel the bad, okay? So there's a few options. The reason that I use, I recommend the products that I recommend is because I found them to be the most effective products I've ever used. Um, so I just look for really good products that are well sourced and actually work and have a good guarantee in case they don't work for you. And that's what I recommend. Um, so anyway, that's, that's why I recommend what I recommend. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I think I'm about done. So I will talk to you guys maybe again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.